Hey everybody, Joel Moose Droppings by ImportSauce.com. Uh, today we're going to show you ICM infotainment control module uh, screen uh, replacement. So uh, our backlight has gone out and we have a new guy that we sourced from the junkyard that we are going to swap in. So uh, stick around, we'll show you what it's all about. So, uh, I don't know, a couple months ago, uh, all of a sudden we just noticed that our screen backlight is out. The screen is actually on. It's very hard to see. You can kind of see that there's stuff. Uh, everything's working, just not enough light on the backlight to uh, put the stuff out. Um, I'll put the part number down below, but essentially for this uh, V70 and related, uh, there's uh, three options and only one of them applies to US models so uh, easy enough pretty safe in uh, seeing that anything you're gonna get at the junkyard is going to be compatible uh, I'll put some pictures up uh, but the first thing we're going to do is remove uh, this little trim panel flathead screwdriver pops right off um, next is going to be this trim panel here pops off comes off of the shifter um, there's going to be a couple bolts in here, as you can see by the picture, two up there, and then two back behind the waterfall. That's going to allow the whole waterfall unit to come up and off. Um, and then at that point, we will access the, uh, screws here on the side that hold this unit in, uh, and they go in from the back. Uh, so we're going to start off by removing these trim panels. One two flathead screwdriver top uh trim panel easily enough you're going to start on the bottom you'll see uh those two little clips will kind of pop out and then uh on the back there are two one and two that sandwich into here so once the pop uh, bottom is popped then you're going to kind of wiggle side to side and we'll break that free easy enough down here on this trim panel uh, what we did was we started here on the back, just got a flathead and kind of popped it up. And then you'll see these are just kind of uh, side pressure clips. So as long as you just pull up, it'll pop off and then just work it up over the shifter. And then there are our one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to start by getting those off and then we'll show you the last two bolts as well. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, actually ten screws. I found two more right here. One Mississippi, two Mississippi that I didn't see on Vita. Uh, screw lengths are different. The ones that uh, come off of here are super long and actually, uh, you know, some good threads. Um, the ones that come out of the back, back here. Not as long with the uh, coarse threads. The other four are just your standard coarse threads. Um, and as expected, T25 for most Volvo uh, interior parts. So for everything, we just use this guy. And for the back, luckily they were straight out. So uh, we just, Put our T25 bit on here and we're able to chick, 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 ratchet that off. So now uh, this pulls out like that. And uh, from there, uh, these ones slide under. So it's going to be kind of a grab the top here, pull out just a little, and then pull up and back. And I can already see our wires down there are ready to. Um, get this connected before it gives us too much room, and then we should be able to uh, pull this, flip it, and have access here. Okay, we didn't have to unplug any wire harnesses. You'll see uh, this little clip actually uh, just secures the wires nice and tight back there. So I was uh, just uh, down here, pop that off, and we were able to kind of get this up and spin it around. 
if you wanted more room, you could disconnect um, here, which we're going to have to anyways, but you could pull it uh, out of that feed. But I think we're going to have enough room to work on it from here, which is one, two, and then two on the other side, T25s. Um, this one at the junkyard only had two, but that's because the clips were broken, so I don't know. Uh, it is a Volvo part, it does have the, the date on there, so I don't know if uh, this had been swapped at some time, right? This one is um, March 2028. Uh, this one did come off of a 2029, but, um, oh, I see on this one they put the label over the part number, and there we can see the actual part number. So, uh, let me go ahead and get these out. It's going to be pulling those bolts. And then just uh, sliding up out of those tabs, and uh, we should be good. Okay, old guys out. And here's what I noticed. As soon as I went to uh, loosen those tabs, they were already, uh, let's see if we can get a view, broken off. So that must be common on these. Um, I just unplugged the two harnesses from the bottom, uh, standard cable and fiber optic cable on there. So um, to note, these four here, uh, that hold the screen in are T15, little guys. So what I'm going to do first is plug the new one in. I'm not going to put it all together and then find out it doesn't work for whatever reason because um, like on P1s and other Volvos, a lot of times you need the exact same part number like on uh, pre-facelift uh, when you're doing the adding uh, AUGs function. You need the screen that has the layout and details for the fog. Uh, I'm sorry, the uh, auxiliary port. The donor car from this one had heated seats. This car does not, so I don't know if there's going to be a little uh, difference in the screen. So we're going to test it first before we put everything back. And if for some reason it's different or not compatible, I'm willing to bet that cracking both of these open and just simply swapping the backlight will do it as well. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, plug it in and see what happens. Okay, car's on. Uh, everything's plugged in, not put back, but hey, we have a screen. Let's see if it works. Uh, radio? Ooh. Sound? Yeah, sound is displaying, FM volume. And really, this is just a screen. Let's make sure these work. FM2, beauty. AM, beauty. Eject the CD. I don't think we have any CDs in there. Uh, CD mode, sorry, insert disc, how about, um, AUGS import, turn this on, see if it gives us a beep beep, yep, let's make sure that the, uh, let's check driver temp, up, oh low. Passenger temp. Ooh, I didn't even know it went down that low. All the way to high. Fan speed indicator. Fan's working. Let's test the fan uh, zones. Oh, straight at you. Add the feet. Add the head. Uh, yeah, and last thing I want to do is I'm gonna come over here and mess with this and see if we got dim. Yep, dim, back up. Okay, we're gonna put everything back in reverse order, but that was uh, quick and easy, uh, all in, uh, without having to record the video. You're probably took uh, 20 minutes. So uh, part number's down below. If this happens to you, uh, don't uh, buy a new one. Just go to the junkyard. I think we got this for about 30 bucks.